as, as the beneficiaries, we can pick out of that pool what we need when we need it for use, not ownership, for use. So you get beneficial use. On paper, though, the purchaser is the name, which is the trust, and the beneficiary is the name, which is of the trust. <laughs> so nothing actually leaves the trust regardless of what you think. It's all in trust. But you see, it's the name that's the purchaser, it's the name that's the beneficiary, it's the name that's the settler, but because you're entitled to be recognized by the name, you play that role. Plain and simple. So when I'm saying I'm the settler, what I'm saying is, is that Beck Victor Roberts is the settler because I'm entitled to be recognized by that name, but I'm the guy, that's, I'm the human being behind the equation here making this decision, making this choice. It's my will be done, your will be done. Remember that. <clears throat> and so with this whole collective thing, the truth is what appears to be going on, and, and, I, and I know it to be the case, and I'm coming from a knowingness perspective, because if I don't know, I have doubt. That's all I'm saying. I'm not bragging. But is if we all were to accept that and say, okay, Canada's a big trust, everything we do, people, we all get together here, or one big happy family, everything we do goes into that big pot, and when one of us needs something, we dip into that pot but it's, you're only going to end up with beneficial use, never ownership. You now, here's the beauty. When you, as a settler, when you identify yourself as a settler, what you're saying is all property in this name, Beck Victor, is trust property. That now puts the legal title with the trust, and as we all know, that's the legal owner. And the legal owner, as we know or should know, is the one that pays. So <clears throat> it's foolhardy to say, I don't consent to be recognized by this name. It's foolhardy to do acceptance for value. It's foolhardy to say this is not my name on this birth certificate because all you're doing is slitting your throat. It's kind of like saying this is not my body. I'm not responsible for what happens to it. Well, you are. <laughs> you can believe otherwise, but we all is responsible for our reality and our health, care, well-being, and our mental state, and blah, 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 blah. And so that's, you know, our state of beingness within determines how we project ourselves out in the world marketplace and how we're recognized in law. And if we're coming from ego, then it's represented through the birth certificate as serving self. Therefore, we are not settlers. We are not beneficiaries. We are trustees. And that's why you're paying the tax. That's why you have a permit to use a car. You're permitted to use trust property. See, it's all in front of our face. You look at your permit for your car, it says permit. The fact that it says permit means that you're using property that doesn't belong to you, but it doesn't belong to the government either. It belongs to the trust. It's all trust property. It's all into that big collective pot, that big pot that we all put our, our, our production into, your labor and everything. It's all into there. Everything we do is done in that legal name, bar none. It's inescapable. So coming from resistance is, uh, is, is not the way identifying, and it doesn't put a solution on the table either. You're standing in front of a court saying, I don't consent to be recognized by that name. They're kind of sitting there, okay, uh, now what? Uh, we got a glitch here. We have nowhere to go with this thing. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not putting a solution on the table. But putting a solution on the table would be to say something like, I am here in relation to that matter. I am the set lore. I am the beneficiary. You know, I only use the court example of how we've kind of behaved in there and how we could do things differently. This process here, when you communicate, when, when I communicate with whom I believe I've got to communicate to that I'm a settler slash beneficiary, I'll never be in court again. Because the only reason I'm in court right now is because I'm presumed to be using that birth certificate for personal identification. And that presumption will rise so long as there's nothing in evidence to, to say that there's an express trust here. See, an express trust overrides an implied trust. So the whole thing is a big trust, but it's all an implied because we haven't come forth and, and indicated our capacity in relation to this whole p big picture. So when you put your on the table that you're the settler slash beneficiary, now you have put a solution on the table. If you're the settler beneficiary, then someone else must be the trustee. Who would that be? Well, that would be the party that entitled me to be recognized by the name. <laughs> and that information's on the birth certificate. I'm not telling you who that is. I don't claim to know exactly who that is, and I can't because I haven't actually done it. But I do uh, believe I know who to communicate with, and if it's not that party, I'm sure that they will get it to the proper place. I think the point is here is to express the trust, and I do that by expressing some basic facts. As you know, uh, this birth certificate is not personal identification, is not and was never intended to be personal identification. As you know, Ontario has authorized me to be recognized by this name, so the name doesn't belong to me, it's not my name. It, it, or pardon me, it is my name to play the game, but the name does not belong to me any more than the car belongs to me because everything is in trust. 
right down to your human body. Now, your human body is not in trust with the government. It's in trust with God, and God is the source of everything. So when you're talking government, you're talking God, and you see how we fail God here because we're, we're resisting government, we're resisting God. And um, there's no escaping these things, and um, that's what's led to our problems. <clears throat> so it's not just saying what you're not. <laughs> that doesn't help. It's who are you then? What kind of person are you? Well, I'm the settler slash beneficiary. And don't resist things like person. It doesn't matter. It's what kind of person are you? Are you a person that's a trustee or are you a person that's settler slash beneficiary? has a whole 180 degree shift. Don't let the person thing bother you. Don't let how you sign bother you. It doesn't matter. I don't have any rights to reserve. I don't have any rights. I have, I have the free will to choose and that's it. These rights and freedom things, that's all contract, contract stuff and it's all coming from fear and we have nothing to fear. And if you're the king, what, what the heck do you have to fear? That you would protect your signature. I don't, think I've ever, I don't think any king in history has ever reserved his rights on his signature. He's the king. <laughs> and so when we assume that position there, you have nothing to secure. But the ultimate solution, and from my view, and I'm sticking to it, is that we need to get express to the government once and for all Here's who I am in connection with this whole picture, and you will then never be treated as, you'll never be in court again. You won't have to have a license. You won't have to apply for this stuff. It'll all be given by the trust. If, that's, if the trust requires that the, that the beneficiaries and settlers carry these documents to identify themselves to the officers of the street, then you just put it in your pocket and you carry it. It doesn't define you. It's just a show, and then they can plug the information into the system and says, leave the guy alone. And you look at what the police do, they're protecting trust property. That's their, that's their purpose. The whole thing is one big trust. And so it's incumbent upon us to recognize our position here in this world. And, and we, we've all recognized, I think, that, yeah, we're the, we're, the, we're the source of production. We're the ones doing the work. And all that's true. And when you recognize there's a trust, then you just say, I'm the settler <laughs> slash beneficiary. In this name, they got to make sure you connect it with the name. I'm entitled to be recognized by the name in this birth certificate as as a settler, and I'm entitled to be recognized by the name as the beneficiary. And again, when you go to purchase a car, you'd have to show the identification. The birth certificate is one of them, so you show that. That's the purchaser. And when you the car is ready to take delivery, the car will be registered in the same name off the birth certificate, and because you have the birth certificate, you have the right to, to take delivery of the car. So in that sense, you're the beneficiary. But on paper, we have nothing. We've given everything and received nothing on paper. But in reality, we have use of these things. But in, in law, we don't own any of it. And if you look at what the queen did, that's exactly what she did. She granted or settled all of her estate into a trust. That's really what's going on there. And as soon as she does that, of course, now the government, she has administrators that administer that whole thing. She's put her property into trust, and any fruits that come from that go to her. But she has designated that to go to the people, which is that only the settlor can do that. The settlor is in charge. The settlor is the one that makes the laws, rules, and regulations with respect to the trust, whatever that is. Each, each has his own thing. And, in that, and again, in absence of doing that, then the trust has its own laws, rules, and regulations to regulate the trustees, and that's the, that's the position we're in right now, is trustees, and that's why we're, all these laws, rules, and regulations are affecting us, because it's actually speaking to trustees. Because again, you can believe that you own the house, you can believe you own the car, but the truth is, we don't own anything. So we're letting go of these false beliefs and um, accepting, yep, I, uh, I'm, uh, we're one big happy family here, and I'm happy to give every, all of this property into trust. And, and, and on paper, you're, it's your will being done, so it's done through that name. And on, but on paper, you've received nothing in return. Remember, you're entitled to be recognized by the name of the trust, so it's, it's, it's the car still belongs to the trust, but you get to use it. That's all. So this, is, this to me, is, fits perfectly with doing the love thing. You give all you have, with no expectation of anything in return. And the fact is, even though you have use of the car, once you've established and expressed the trust, it's not your car, so you have received nothing. You have not received compensation. You haven't the consideration for why you do what you do has not been as I can say I own this car. You know, people will say, "Well, you, you're, you're driving the car." Yeah, so it doesn't mean it's my car. It's a company car. So what? <laughs> Belongs to the company. Someone's got to drive it. So, <clears throat> if 
you do some little bit of research on trusts and settlor and beneficiary and trustee and relate all of that to what's going on with the registration of birth process, when they registered you and I, they registered you and I basically as sovereigns. And that's basically what a settlor is, is a sovereign. The settlor makes the rules, not the trustee, the settlor. The trustee executes those orders carries out what the, what the settler wants done for the benefit of the beneficiary. So as the settler, you give the orders to the trustee how to administer to the beneficiary, which is the same name on the birth certificate, which you happen to be holding, so you get to go for the ride. <laughs> and uh, again, in absence of doing that, the system is operating on the presumption that we're all, at, we're all serving self. And in so serving self, we have assumed the role of the trustee because, when you're, again, when you're dealing with the trust, there's trustees, there's beneficiaries, and there's settlers, basically. You know, I want to express, and I think a couple other people have written on this, as to why things are in trust. Is, see, there is no money. And when there is no money, then there's going to be one thing. Everything is in trust. I think uh, Christian Walters or Waters, I don't remember his name, but uh, explained it quite nicely, actually. It's just really just moving of titles. And, um, it's, it's, you know, it's like this. Um, and the government even acknowledges on when you pay a fee for the birth certificate, it's an administrative fee. Title does not pass to the recipient. It's trust. It has trust written all over it. And, um, and again, that's exactly what the Queen has done. So when we were talking about this giver thing and surrendering to the estate, surrender is not the proper word. Identifying yourself as a settler is saying the same thing, but it has a t completely different meaning in law. Well, if you're the settler, you're the boss. <laughs> If you've surrendered, you've given up. So although they use the terminology where the queen surrendered her estate to the treasury, really what she did, it was her free will to do that, so she granted it. Or, again, grantor, settlor, trustor, basically are synonymous. And um, However, in Canada, it seems that the word settlor is more popular, but they all basically mean the same thing. And just because you've heard what you hear in this call tonight doesn't mean... You won't get a phone call to the fact, well, what makes you think you're the settlor? What makes you think you're the beneficiary? Well, I didn't say I'm the settlor. I said I'm entitled to be recognized as a settlor. I didn't say I'm the beneficiary. I said I'm entitled to be recognized as the beneficiary. So you've got to have these things in place in your own self. <clears throat> when you, if, if, if these kind of questions come back, it depends how the letter is formulated, what sort of information is put in the letter. And it may be, given that the government has clearly put on the table when we met Judy Hartman six almost six years ago now, <laughs> took this long for a big perspective shift, but in any case, she said, and she didn't have to say this, but she said, Dick, or to the three of us, a birth certificate is not, it was never intended to be personal identification of. She wouldn't say that if it wasn't true, <clears throat> and if the government was out to screw us, she wouldn't say that either. So we kind of have to trust in the trust. So... When one is communicating here that he's a settler beneficiary, you don't have to get into And if you don't do this, I'm going to take you to court stuff. Remember it says in the Bible, go to your brother to settle it privately first. So that would be the first approach. You trust the trust, and you trust that when you put the proper information on the paper, it will be accepted. And you will, uh, depending on what you've ordered or requested in your as a settler, when you send this communication to the trustee, you could just have the trustee... Uh, Give me a phone call. I want to talk about this. <laughs> now, as a settlor, you're in charge here. So you come from a loving perspective, and there's no need to, uh, I don't think there's any need to uh, draft up a 55-page document and uh, put the history of the world on there and your own personal opinions and stuff like that. You stick to the facts here. That's all. Remember the show uh, Car 54, Where Are You, I think, or no, that wasn't it, but uh, with Joe Friday, he kept saying, just the facts, man, just the facts. I don't want to hear all the mumbo-jumbo. Just give me the basic bottom-line facts. And pretty much in Ontario, anyhow, and I and, and I understand, I'm pretty <clears throat> well. I'm aware that the vital statistics act across the country, although they don't say the same thing, it is uniform. So it applies in one province if it's not stated in another province, applies to that province as well, and vice versa. So it's uniform across the country, and it's almost like of ten provinces, they each hold a key. When you put all ten vital statistics acts together, you can see the full picture, because some of the acts have information that other ones don't depending on the province. Um, so anyhow, uh, that's who we are in this picture now. At the same time, it's not to now take a bill.